What's up, everybody? Welcome to what we're kind of working out for a name or whatever. We're thinking it's going to be Stay Out of My Beard, but if you want to let us know in the comments, maybe a clever name that we're not clever enough to think about, let us know. But let us tell you what this is going to be about. This is kind of combining our passions. You know, Brandon loves food. I love beards. So why not talk about foods, staying out of beards and beards, how to eat with the foods and maybe just rate the foods and kind of our ideas. We're going to obviously do food reviews. We're going to maybe do restaurant reviews uh, and all sorts of amazing things, whatever else we can come up with and you can come up with. It's going to be organically, maybe even sometimes like the food that we try here. Yeah, I, I'm excited, Matt. I think this is going to be a great thing. Obviously, I love food. I'm a fat man. Matt has one of the most luxurious beards I've ever seen in my life. So this is combining beards and food and two guys who I wouldn't say are in love with each other, but we're definitely in love with ourselves and our beards and food, and we're hoping to bring that love to you. Absolutely. And it's going to be a good time. And we're going to obviously continue to grow this channel. We're going to continue to put it here. We're going to put it there. We're going to kind of put it everywhere. But the one thing that we do want to do is not put a lot of food in here and especially the mustaches, the beards. But either way, we're super excited. But let me just take a minute and introduce this guy over here. Obviously, he is Brandon J. McDermott. There's going to be some links down below. He's an award winning author. When his best-selling book, Abandoned Brandon, which you can find, which will also have links on there. He's a social media icon in the food game. He has reacted to probably more videos than Gordon Ramsay this year. He has been seen on all the social medias, and rumor has it he's super huge in China and all the Chinese apps over there. So you can find him even as a guest on the Jerry Judge Jerry Springer show. And obviously, guys, the one, the only, Brandon J. McDermott. Well, thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Yeah, I definitely have more videos than Gordon Ramsay this year reacting to food. I think I've recorded close to 1,200 this year uh, uh, in the last calendar year. So that's definitely a lot, about three, four, or five a day. It depends. Yeah. It changes. Matt is the reason I'm here, and I mean that. When I started out on social media, he was the first big creator that I, I had attacked, attacked, attached to that uh, reached back out to me and was just a real guy. And Matt is as down-to-earth and as genuine as you see right here on every video you watch as he is in person. He's a great guy, and I would not want to be doing this with anybody else. I'm glad to be here with him and glad to be along for the ride. I'm super excited. And like you said, with the genuine everything, that's what this is going to be. This is going to be genuine reviews of products that we get from candy to pizza to whatever. And we're going to break down how beard friendly it is. You know, is it going to be easy to eat with a beard? Is it not? But I'm super excited. And this is a little bit of a spoiler. Our very first video that's coming after this one, probably next week or in a couple of days, is going to be the top eight worst foods to eat with a beard brought to you by Matt and Brandon. And again, we can't thank you guys enough for watching this video. Hopefully you're excited because we definitely are. Take a look at all the links in the description below. And again, next week, we're going to have the eight worst foods to eat with our beard. So yeah, we'll see you soon and we'll see what we want to stay out of our beards.